it is now five o'clock um class started at 4 30. good morning y'all so it is like 10 a.m and i just got up a couple minutes ago today i'm gonna be filming a day in my life of online school because if you have not seen my last video stanford has moved all of its classes to online instruction just so we will be safer um and not having to be in like groups of people while this coronavirus situation is going on so if you want updates on that make sure to watch my last video so we have online class my first class doesn't start till 4 30 because i'm back in atlanta and the time difference is three hours so when it's 1 30 there it'll be 4 30 here and then i'll be in class until 11 30 but at least i'm in the comforts of my own home and i'll be able to be in my bed right now i'm about to walk my dog and then i'm gonna come back and make a smoothie have breakfast and then i'll get to work so let's go my smoothie and I'm about to do some work my hair is kind of frizzy my wrap fell off in the middle of the night for now I am about to work on my essay that I have due tonight literally tonight at 9 p.m. I just have a conclusion and an abstract left to write and then I'll have psych work I have to do a quiz read some chapters so that's what I'm gonna be doing in a second but I'm about to clean up because I did my hair last night as y'all can see I keep touching it sorry it's frizzy um, I did my hair so I made a mess in here and I'm about to clean that up so I'm gonna put some music on and just try to be productive today even though it's kind of like gloomy outside. Let's get to it. Chino. So I'm done straightening up my room now. It's now like a working space and I'm able to live in here comfortably. But I forgot I have to do a load of laundry. So I'm gonna do that and then I'll get to work on my essay. <laughs> now it's like 10.43 and I'm actually about to start working. I have it pulled up, that's the first step. We finished my paper. It had to be two less than two thousand words and more than a thousand, so I was almost over the word count. But I'm done. This is the best part of finishing. Yay! Yeah. But so now I'm about to. So now I'm about to shower and hopefully when I get out of the shower, my food will be here and I can talk to you guys because I want to give you guys some updates about the ongoing COVID-19 situation, how Stanford's handling it because there have been some updates that they've sent out um, and basically I'm going to be at home for a long time. But we will talk about that when I'm out of the shower. Okay, y'all, it's like two o'clock now. I've honestly been... <laughs> not anything i'm out of the shower i have been for like an hour now um my food was here when i got out so i just sat and ate and watched the new season of on my block on netflix because that just came out today and that's one of my favorite shows on netflix so that's what i've been doing for the past hour but as i get dressed and like get ready to do more work and watch more netflix getting dressed for literally no reason I wanted to update you guys with the situation with Stanford. So yesterday they sent out an email saying that spring quarter classes, which begins March 30th is the spring quarter until like June. The classes are now gonna be held online indefinitely, which means until further notice, until they make a final decision about whether classes will be resuming on campus or will be continuing to commute like online. Stanford basically said that they encourage all students to leave if they're able and they will 
provide financial assistance to those who are on financial aid to tr cover travel costs or anything like that. But the campus will remain open and students can stay in the dorms over the break and we'll have access to residence halls and stuff. But students who want to stay have to register online just to make sure their ID cards don't get locked out. So they're kind of locking down the campus, making sure no one, like you're not allowed back if you already left for spring break until they make a final decision. So basically I will be doing this online thing for a very long time. I don't know if it's gonna be a long time. I honestly don't know how long it'll be, but um, for the foreseeable future, I will be an online Stanford student. Well, everybody will be online Stanford students. Um, and there's no telling how this will impact like graduation or any of the events that had coming up where like the summer classes or the summer programs or anything. They haven't updated us on that, but that's the update so far. That's what a lot of schools have been doing. So a lot of these schools are taking the precautions to make sure that they're stopping the spread of this virus. I know it was just officially declared as a pandemic across the world. So it's getting pretty serious. Hope you guys are staying safe, but that's just the update on that. Um, Harvard did their students very dirty, but that is a conversation for another time. If you're considering these elite institutions, please pay attention to how they're handling these types of situations and how they're moving with first generation low income students in mind or students with disabilities or just any of their students in mind because Harvard basically gave all their students five days to move out and I saw a bunch of tweets and everything with how wrongly they're handling the situation so make sure you guys are paying attention to that especially if you're considering like Stanford, Harvard, Princeton, any of these schools that have shut down and um, transferred to online instruction. My first class is not until... 4 30 and right now it's 207 so i still have time maybe they'll post it early because my first class is psych and sometimes they and they're just posting lectures we don't have to get on zoom or anything um and sometimes they'll post it a little early so for now i'm just gonna get dressed i'm going to watch on my blog so yeah this is my life as an online student haven't left the house all day except to take a walk but hopefully i'll get into a routine or maybe i'll go have some if the weather is nice, I'll like go outside or maybe work in different places. We'll just, this is only my second day of like online class. So we'll continue to adjust and make the necessary changes. Bear with me, bear with my channel for the next couple of weeks. I don't know, you guys won't be seeing like Stanford vlogs, but you'll be able to see some other aspects of a college student's life. So I'm gonna get dressed and I will talk to you guys later. So I'm dressed but I kind of want to take a nap. It is now five o'clock. Um, class started at 4.30. No, I'm just joking. They posted the lecture at 4.30 and it's up for 24 hours, so. Okay, I'm out of the bed and here is the psych lecture. It says they posted it two days ago, but maybe I just checked this morning, so I don't understand why it says that. But yeah, you just click on it. Basically a lecture recording from last year. Okay, so I finished my psych lecture and my next class starts in 10 minutes. And I'm so happy I don't have to bike anywhere. I don't have to rush to class or anything. I can just sit here in my bed and wait for the time to pass. Um, this class is my foundational course in testing. It's our last class, of course, so we'll be on Zoom. Um, the class lasts, it will be from 6.30 to 8 20 so kind of long i just found out the purple the purple i just found out the paper i was working on for these past three nights up late is not due until next wednesday <laughs> okay so here's my next class no one has their camera on this is our professor so we're about to get started it's six twenty-nine. the life choices of individuals or in shaping the character of Okay, hey y'all. So it's currently 10. Oh, I just sounded country. It's currently 10.05 and I'm about to have my last class of the day, which is my psych section. I had the education class and then I had a financial wellness class where we had a guest lecture. So I was just listening to that. I didn't want to show you guys because it would have been kind of like boring and mundane. But basically, Stanford sent out another email saying that more people have tested positive. I think a Stanford Hospital faculty member and then somebody on the main campus, they didn't specify, but somebody on the main campus now has coronavirus. Um, so that's latest from the updates. I know a lot of schools are now like shutting down. So this is getting to be a pretty big deal. 
I hope you guys are staying safe. I'm about to have class and I'm already tired. I don't know why I'm so tired. I've literally been home all day and I took a nap. People are on, but nobody has their mic or camera on except for me. But I don't want to turn off now because me and the professor are just here. Okay. There's only Hi guys. Received this feedback, decided to make these changes, and you kind of outline what they are. You do it at a high level, like you don't have to go into a ton of detail. Okay, y'all, so I just finished class. It's 11.20, so they ended right on time. I'm kind of sad. Like, every time I end, like, especially because all my professors have been so nice. I mean, this wasn't even a professor. He was a TA, but all the people that, like, teach us have been so nice and just so helpful and, like, thoughtful. And it's kind of sad when classes end. Am I the only one who feels like that? I might be the only one, but it's, like, kind of sad. Everybody's, like, thanks for everything. And they're, like, I mean, I'm glad it's over, but it's also sad. So, um, instead of a final exam with, like, multiple choice and, um, short answer, we're going to have one long integrative essay that we'll have multiple days to work on, but we'll still, um have to submit it by like the time we would have taken that final exam. So it's definitely a plus. We get to use our notes as like an open essay, basically. I don't know, like this is what you do with an essay, you do research. Um, we don't know the prompt or anything, but they're gonna send that to us. So we definitely got lucky in this um, scenario because it seemed like it would have been really difficult to have to do without resources. Basically done with class now. And that was my day as an online college student. I didn't end up leaving the house in between my education class and my financial wellness lecture. Um, I went out to get cookies. So that's basically what my life is gonna be for the next few weeks, I'm guessing. Um, I mean, once the quarter resumes, of course, cause we don't have any more class. Like this is basically my last class until the psych lecture on Friday, which they're gonna post. Um, so. I'll just have to watch that and then my quarter is essentially over. So thank you guys so much for watching. I don't even know if this video was entertaining, but it is, I think, interesting to see how the universities are handling the situation and its impact on students. Of course, I'm just one person. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Instagram if you have any questions. And please give me video suggestions of things I wanna see while I'm back in Atlanta, while I'm doing online class, while I'm prepping for the summer, anything like that, just um, comment down below, DM me, please, because these vlogs are just gonna be me in my room, my house all day, like, I don't know what to do, but thanks for sticking with me, y'all, and I will see you on Monday.